One of the, of the diseases that a lot of dairy farmers face and, and, and try to manage is, is a disease called yonis or peritubertulosis. Um, many times that, that disease is transmitted not only through feces but also through the colostrum. Um, several years ago we instituted some programs to try to minimize the spread uh, of the disease within the herd. Um, and we start by obviously identifying the carriers of, of that disease. So we do an annual blood test on all the cows in the herd to identify any positive cows. And then we also pull a secondary blood sample 30 to 60 days prior to calving to see if any cows have turned positive since the last negative test. In the event that a cow does turn positive, those cows are identified with a green ear tag and any resulting calves from that cow are not fed her colostrum. We store a bank of colostrum from other cows and use that colostrum for any of the positive calves um, that, are, that are resulting. We also, once a cow is determined to be positive, we will also ear tag, green ear tag, any of her particular daughters that are in the herd. These cows are not necessarily considered positive, but have the potential or a higher potential of turning positive. And so we will not utilize their colostrum for their calves either. Granddaughters, once that cycle has been broken, granddaughters then are considered clear of the disease. And so that's, that's some of the management that we've done on the colostrum side. We also have a separate box stall for cows that are green ear tagged to calve in. After each calving, the stall is cleaned and disinfected uh, to try and minimize any spread there. Um, so far, the program has been working fairly effectively. Five years ago, we would have anywhere from 15 to 20 positive cows. Currently, we're down to two known positives. So things have, have looked extremely good over the last 18 months to two years. We have struggled at this point in our heifer raising program at times. Um, the transition from calf hutch to superdome. Uh, coccidiosis seems to be our biggest issue that we, that we deal with. Um, we have kind of developed a plan that has minimized the, the uh, effect on the herd. We will, uh, the day that we move them to the Superdomes, since the environment is new, they don't know where the feed is, they don't know where the water is, all those things, we provide an open water trough and we uh, add chorid to the, to the water supply to help uh, give the calves kind of some protection against coccidiosis uh, during that, especially that first week of, uh, of transition from calf hutch to Superdome. During treatment of Corid, we just simply lower the lid over the normal water supply, and so their, their option is to drink right out of these water tubs. Uh, at the end of the week, when treatment is complete, we can dump out the water tubs or we'll just let them finish that off. But then we can also open up the lid and then they have free choice to whatever water they need. We've actually uh, progressed quite a bit over the last 18 months on that and uh, are not dealing with that issue quite as, as much as we had in the past.